In this lesson, we'll learn how we can import our image planes into Maya and actually use these as modeling references. Okay, so I'm just going to start Maya up with a new blank scene here. So what we first need to do is determine which views we actually want to import. So within Maya, we have our top, front, and side view, as well as our perspective view. Now we can actually import image planes into any of these views. So this lesson, we're really just going to focus on the basics of importing and removing your image planes. So let's start with something like our front view. So I can start by just maximizing this, again, just tapping my keyboard, or we could just keep this in a four panel view, whichever you choose. Now to import these, just go to the view that you actually want, and within that viewport, go to view, and down to image plane. Within this, we can import an image, and depending on which version of Maya you're using, we also have the option to import a movie. So let's start with import image. Now this is going to ask us to uh, basically point Maya to the images that we want to put in. Now in my case, we're going to uh, go into the source images directory of this project, and because we're looking in the front view, I'm going to grab this image plane front. So here's the image plane that we are working with. Let's go ahead and click open. And there we are. So here's the actual image itself. And now Maya is basically going to just treat this as a simple background image. Now if I deselect this, we can actually see that the uh, grid is on top of this image plane. And again, uh, just depending on how dark or how light you make your image planes, uh, these lines may be uh, a little easier or maybe a little bit more difficult to see. So essentially now we can use this as essentially just a uh, modern day version of tracing paper and now just build our model directly on top of this. Now if I tap my spacebar, you'll notice that my image plane also shows up in the perspective view. So we'll learn uh, in one of our later lessons of this course how we can actually start to uh, control this and control things like the image plane placement, things like that. But for now, we're just really going to focus on the basics of bringing these in. Now we can continue to uh, import multiple image planes. So if we were to go into our side view, and again, in this view, go to view, image plane, and import an image. Let's, in this case, because we're looking at the side view, bring in my side image plane. And there we are. So now we have the side image plane, as well as the front. All right, very nice. And you can see, uh, in my case, these are, again, showing up in my perspective view. Okay, so once we have these brought in, uh, let's say at some point in time, maybe we want to remove these. Maybe time has gone by, uh, we've modeled everything that we need, and we no longer need these image planes. Or maybe for whatever reason, uh, these are incorrect or these need to be removed. There are a couple of different ways of actually getting rid of these image planes. So one method is to go into the view that you want. So in my case, let's say I want to remove this side image plane. Well, what we can do is go up to view, image plane, and go to the image plane attributes. And you can see in my case, here's image plane 2, which is the name of this new image plane that we've just loaded up. If we go ahead and click on that, it will actually select this image plane and also open up its attributes over here. Now we'll talk a little bit more about this section over here in our next lesson, but what we can do is with this image plane selected, as it is right now, just simply press the delete key on our keyboard, and now that image plane is gone. Now another way of actually removing this uh, image plane is we can actually go into something like our hypershade. So if we click on the hypershade button here, if we were to go over into our cameras tab, we can see we have all of our cameras loaded up and we also within this area can see any image planes that may be used. In my case I only have one image plane left but I could also select it from here and again with this selected press the delete key on my keyboard and now it's gone. Okay so that's just a quick look at the basics of importing and removing image planes from Maya. Now in our next lesson we're going to take a look at how we can actually start to reposition and resize image planes once they've been brought in.